YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Afe92. And for the longest, I've been wanting to make a video to let you guys know exactly what equipment I use to record my videos and take pictures and post on Instagram and everything down from the camera to the lens to the lights, everything that I use to create my media that I post on Instagram or YouTube or any other social media. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it is that I use. And to start off, um, the first thing that I use is, this is a Canon M50 right here. Let me zoom in on it right there. That's my go-to camera, that's what I use all the time. I use it to take videos, I use it to take pictures. Anything that I, that's really, it's the, the, the most smallest, simplest, camera that you can get that has everything you need in my opinion and to get the Canon M50 is gonna cost you um, right now you can get on Amazon for $650 so for $650 you can get the same camera I have this is in this is in white but obviously you can just get it you know you can get it different color they got the black one available too and it's about the same price and the lens that I have on it right now which is uh, this lens right here this one is actually the Sigma 18 to 35 and this lens is $719 and you don't have to spend that much on a lens the second option you can go from there if you don't want to spend that much on a lens is I would go with the 22 millimeter for 250 bucks and I'm gonna show you guys the type of pictures that I take with a 22 millimeter um, this picture was with the 22 millimeter lens it's, it's a 1.8 so you're gonna get a nice really blurry background this one was with the 22 millimeter on you can still see context of what's behind you so you can see everything in the back. You can still see it, but it's just blurry. So it looks nice. And uh, let me see. This one was with the 22 millimeter. You can see the back real nice. That one was with the 22 millimeter. And the 22 millimeter is a good option. It's a really, really small lens. But if you decide you don't want to spend, um, what is it, 250 on a lens, then the last option that I would go with is the 50 millimeter lens. And now understand this, if you get a 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter lens, if you have a Canon camera that's not mirrorless, this is gonna fit on there just fine because it's an EF lens. So what I mean by EF lens is, if I go back to the 22 millimeter, you see it says EFM. That M stands for mirrorless camera. So these lenses go on mirrorless cameras. This one right here is not designed to go on a mirrorless camera. It's a lot bigger. So what you would need to buy along with this $125 will be an adapter to change it from EF, EF, to EF mount to an EOS M mount, which is which will make it, you see how it gets smaller. It'll make it fit on a mirrorless camera. So you can fit that lens on a mirrorless camera. And the pictures that I take with the 50 millimeter with this lens right here, um, This picture was taken with the 50 millimeter. And you can tell it's a lot more. I had to stand back to take this picture and it's really, really zoomed in. And you can see that there's not really much context to the back. You can't really see what's going on in the back. You can see what's back there, but it, you can't you can't tell what it is. It's too blurry. And it's because it's a it's it's so zoomed in that you can't really tell. Like this this one right here is another example. You can tell there's a pool table back there just by the shape of it, but you can't see any, you know, no details in there in the back and that's what you're gonna get with the the 50 millimeter because it's so zoomed in the Canon M50 really any camera unless you get a full frame camera they're gonna have a crop sensor so anything that you use as far as this is a 50 millimeter you're gonna have to multiply that by 1.6 so it ends up being close to 80 millimeters and if you guys don't know what millimeters mean when you're taking pictures the higher the number the more zoomed in it is so with 50 mil should be an okay focal length which is zoom but it turns into an 80 mil when you put it on a mirrorless camera so 
you can't really tell too much what's going on in the back gives you some really really nice crispy pictures as you can tell right here but you can't see anything in the back and that's okay if you don't really mind that you're really showcasing the pictures anyways i mean the haircut so you don't you shouldn't have to worry about that but if you decide that you want a little more context then the 22 mil is the way to go it's not as zoomed in and to me it's just a little bit just a little bit more sharper you can zoom in maybe not here because it's you know internet quality or whatever but uh you can zoom in and it, it it's just a little bit sharper and um up these pictures right here this one i took with uh with the sigma 18 to 35 which is the one that's on on the camera right now that you guys that i showed you guys a little while ago this video was taken on the sigma 18 to 35 you're gonna get a lot of good videos the reason I, the sigma is so high the reason this lens right here is so high is because that 1.8 if you pay attention to that 1.8 it's over here in the 50 millimeter the 1.8 the lower the f stop you see that f 1.8 the lower that number the more blurrier the background is going to be so this 22 millimeter is a f2 so it's not as blurry remember i was telling you guys that you see a little more detail in the 22 mil on on the background and that's because it's a f2 so it doesn't blur it out all the way in my opinion it blurs it out just enough so the reason why this sigma 18 to 35 is so expensive is because that it, it, it zooms in first of all from 18 to 35 but it stays at 1.8 throughout the whole focal length so what does that mean if you have it at 18 millimeters it's going to be a 1.8 it's going to give you the same amount of blurriness right now what happens is the canon camera if you use this lens they call it the kit lens the lens that comes with it um what happens is when you zoom in if you look at it it says uh right here 3.5 to 6.3 so when, when it's zoomed out, you're gonna get the 3.5. That's the f-stop. But when you zoom in, you're gonna get you're gonna get the 6.3. So that f-stop is gonna go up. So you're gonna have it's gonna let less light in, so it's gonna get darker. So the sigma is so expensive because it's 18 to 35, but it stays at 1.8. So you really have an 18 millimeter lens at 1.8, and you got a 35 millimeter lens at 1.8, and you got all the links in between at 1.8. So that's a lot of focal lengths that you're gonna have. At 1.8 so that's why it's so expensive and I mean you can just tell the quality that, that that comes out of this lens if you guys you know can see this video the quality that you're gonna get out of a Sigma lens is gonna be a lot a lot better than any of the other two lenses that I showed you guys even though it's a third-party lens it's not a Canon lens you're gonna get really 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 good quality out of it but that's the stuff that I use I use the Canon M50 um, I use ring lights and um, let me see if I can look one up for you guys. This is the ring lights that I use. They're on Amazon right now. They go up and down right now. They're $81 with the stand. That's what I use. Um, these help out a lot. I have three of them at the barbershop that I use. Two that are standing up, you know, behind me on my station and one that's right next to it. And I use those to, you know, for, see, I purchased four times. I really have four of them. I sold one of them, I forgot. But if you see it right, it says purchase four times. But these are really, really, really good lights. You can put the, the orange one and it makes the, the picture a little more warmer, which I don't really, I don't really do. I always use these. I don't even, I don't even think I have the orange ones anymore. But, and for, um, here at home, uh, let me see. I use these lights right here. Oh, well, it's a waste. Can't really see it, but it's a big old box light. So, all right, let me see. Those are just for here for when I make YouTube videos, and I mean, I showed you guys my setup when I when I showed you the camera. That's the uh, that's the setup that I use. You know that's the the Canon M50 right there, and that's with the Sigma lens. So with the Canon M50 and the Sigma lens, you're getting this this shot right here. 
this is the shot that you're gonna get with the Sigma lens. And it's streaming right well, now. I'm not streaming, I'm recording, but I'm going through a streaming software and it's recording through the streaming software. But this is what you're gonna get. That's what I use. Um, if you want, I'll leave all the links in the description, let you guys know exactly what I use. And uh, if you don't want to go with the M50, you can always go with the um, Rebel T7. It's a cheaper camera, maybe $250, $300. And it's going to do almost the same job. But the M50, in my opinion, is a lot smaller, has a lot more features to it. And I just think it's, it's, it's more bang for your buck. You're going to get a lot more for like $200 more, $300 more, however much that is. But um, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, like and subscribe. And uh, hopefully I'll be putting out some more content pretty soon. I'm trying to get back on it, get back on the schedule. I've been slacking. I say that every video. I don't even know why I tell you guys if I'm not going to drop more videos. I need to stop saying that. But honestly, I got my whole setup. I got this new software that I'm trying out. Everything's working out good. So hopefully I, I start dropping more content more frequently. And thank you guys for watching.